be talking about homesteading guns. Now, I'm not personally a homesteader, but my all-time favorite homesteading channel is the Neil's Homestead. And not only is it my favorite channel, but these are some of my favorite people. Their kids go to my school, and they both work at the school, and we're just great friends when it comes to it. And we've talked about this over the years, and we just decided to get together and do a video. Now, I will put the link to the Neil's Homestead below. Definitely check them out. It's the best homesteading channel on YouTube. But what we're talking about is we're talking about the top five homesteading guns. So homesteading guns is, in my opinion, again, I'm not a homesteader, but kind of the way I look at it is uh, what you're looking at is these are tools. These are things that really just get the job done. My guess is you probably use guns on your land probably a lot more than I do on my land. I live in the suburbs. We, we pretty yeah. much just keep guns for home defense and, and hunting and that sort of thing. But, um, but I know that there's different jobs that you do out here on the homestead and so mm -hmm. we just want to take a look at the top five. So why don't we start with what you think are the top five homesteading guns? Yeah, as you said, they're tools. They're, they're things we use regularly. So to that end, they, to my mind, they have to be utilitarian. They mm. can't be fragile. They have to be accurate. They have to work when you need them to. I would say the most important is a 22. Interesting, okay. There's so many choices on 22 rifles. Um, the personal one that I went was a Marlin Model 60. Oh, nice. I, I, actually, I was going to guess a 22 rifle. Mine would be a Ruger 1022. Uh huh. That's another great choice. Same idea, though. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. It, it's been around a long time. It's a proven platform. It's really accurate. It's got a micro groove barrel. It, you know, if you're shooting squirrels, you need accuracy. Now, have I, as I've done videos on like the top uh, 22 long rifles, um, oftentimes the Marlin comes up as being one of the best ones to pick uh, that's a great choice um, now what do you generally use that for um, mostly small game like squirrels and rabbits um, it's also in my opinion adequate for any mid-sized game uh, raccoons um, coyotes things like that it will kill just about anything it'll kill deer but it, it, almost nowhere it's legal to kill deer with that but sure, if you need sure. to if you had to Yes. It would do it. Uh -huh. Now, I know as we have talked about 22s, do you feel like a 22 pistol could replace that, or do you think it's got to be a rifle? I think a 22 pistol has, the advantages are it can be with you at all times. Mm -hmm. I think accuracy-wise, it's very difficult to get the same accuracy for small game hunting with a pistol as I would with agree. a rifle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just know as we've talked about that, the pistols come up and... Mm -hmm. uh, but I noticed you don't have a 22 long rifle pistol out here, so they, that would not fit in there. Excellent. Uh -huh. All right, what's next? My next gun would be a 12 gauge shotgun. <laughs> again, that was one of my choices as well. And again, there's so many options with this. I have a single shot shotgun. It was, I've had it since I was 18. It was cheap and it's worked every time. I've killed everything with this gun, deer, turkeys. If I had to pick one gun for a homestead, it would be a 12 gauge shotgun. That's, that'd be a great choice. Now, would you say because of the versatility of the rounds that there's so much that you could do with a shotgun? Yes, uh, because of the versatility. And also, if you want to hunt all of the game available in Missouri, shotgun is your only choice. You can't shoot sure. turkeys or birds with a rifle. Right. So it has to be a shotgun. Excellent. And, and what kind is this? This is a uh, New England Pardoner. Single shot, 12 gauge. It's a beautiful gun. And the great thing about a um, single shot shotgun is it's never gonna jam on you. It's never gonna right. <laughs> misfire. They're usually very, typically one of the most reliable guns out there. Very simple mechanically. And you can also safety wise, you can verify very definitely that it's empty. Yeah, versus a lot uh, of absolutely. other magazines. I never guns. thought of it that way as well. Uh, for me, it would be the Mossberg 500. Mm -hmm. um, my very first gun I ever owned was Mossberg 500. So I kind of yeah. had a sentimental part to that as well. So, yep, interesting. And, and is that your very first gun you ever owned? No, my first was this 22. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. So both these guns have been around for a long time in your family and on your homestead. Yep. Um, I think that speaks to a lot of really their reliability and, and clearly after the years, if not decades, they're still. Yep, they've both had so. hundreds and hundreds and of rounds through them. So. Wonderful. What's next? Well, after you have the basic needs of hunting and stuff, I would go to, you need some form of self-defense. Sure. The next two are kind of in that line. Um, a concealable handgun, 
and my favorite is nine millimeter just because of Mine the as well. <laughs> cheapness and availability of rounds. Um, I've gone with the Taurus PT-111 G2. Now that's a great gun. Um, very affordable. Mm -hmm. um, and Taurus does a great job of making guns very inexpensive and they've really been innovative over the last years um, as well. And the 111 is, is definitely mm -hmm. one of those as well. Yeah, it's been a great gun. I haven't had a problem with it. And it, like you said, it's very affordable mm -hmm. it, and it's concealable. So it, it makes a great choice. Now, one thing I just uh, that I'll note right here is that I noticed that your guns, you did a great job of picking really, in my opinion, great guns, um, as well as they're all affordable. Um, and I think for a homestead, and again, I'm not a homesteader, but I would think that the, uh, the concept of homesteading a gun is just one tiny piece of that. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just easily been able to fill the toolbox with the guns you need, uh, but without breaking the bank. That's great yeah. choices you've made. And all these are very reliable wonderful handguns and rifles as well. Thank you. Yeah, it's... For me, typically, it's the SIG P250 is uh -huh. <laughs> kind of what I carry, but yeah. Yeah, that's Excellent. a good gun too. Now this one, um, typically I think most people would say this, I would see it as a benefit for sure. I have one of these as well, but what do you got next? So I have an AR-15. Yes. Uh, this particular one is this particular one is a DPMS Oracle in 5.56, and this is kind of America's homeland defense rifle. Absolutely. Absolutely. In this case, homestead defense rifle. Homestead defense rifle. This gives you uh, range when you need range for uh, defending your crops from coyotes or your chickens. Gosh, I never thought much of coyotes, um, but yeah, that's mm -hmm. the perfect coyote gun. Absolutely. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's, the ammunition's cheap. Uh, it's accurate. It has enough knockdown power to do whatever you need to do, whether that's uh, defending your house or defending your land. I think it's a great platform. I agree. Um, why'd you go with the DPMS, if you don't mind me asking? Now, I, I personally love the DPMS. It's one of the most accurate ARs I've ever fired, and it's one of the most affordable. Uh huh. One of the big reasons was the affordability. Mm -hmm. I was looking at a lot of them, weighing up the options, and uh, other ones that seemed about the same quality level were about a hundred dollars more so okay. i just went ahead and went with this one yeah it's a great choice great choice um now with the ar-15 have now you're way out here in the woods um have you ever had any problems with two-legged predators out here i'm just more curious than anything else <laughs> there's always that threat mm -hmm. um we're far enough out that we don't get a lot of it but we're always watchful for it. And sure. if you do have problems, help is a long ways away. Mm -hmm. um, I, I bet, yeah, that's one problem with living out in the woods is you definitely have to be dependent on your own, which is why I think the handgun and the AR is such a wonderful choice. Great. Um, I would have definitely put, so far, I would have put these on there as well, not being a homesteader, but you can kind of picture yourself in the woods, what would come in handy. Uh -huh. um, all right, what you got next? My last one is a Savage 110 bolt action 30 out six. Great. This choice. is my big game rifle. Um, also, it works for long range varmint hunting. Um, it's very accurate. I love the trigger on this gun. It's got the power to kill anything, all the way up to elephants. Absolutely, and it's got the Accu trigger on it too. I think Savage does is really as far as bolt action rifles. I think they make, in my opinion the most quality affordable rifles out there. Mm -hmm. um, I know there's better rifles that are, you know, triple the, the cost, but for the money, you just, you can't beat it. And, and Savage mm -hmm. is really one of the most accurate bolt action rifles out there. And they've been around for about a hundred years. So it's hard, hard to beat the quality that Savage has. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, why'd you pick the 30-06 of all the bolt action rounds? Really, my choices kind of came down in my mind to 30-06 or 308. And I just went with the 30 out six for a little more case capacity, heavier bullets if I needed that. And it's a very common hunting caliber in this area. Uh, either 30 out six or 30, 308 would be perfectly acceptable, I believe, in this caliber. You could go smaller for a deer rifle, 243. Uh, 270 is a great round too. But 30 out six is a nice, well rounded caliber. Absolutely. Um, I have a 270. Mine's a, a SIG SHR 970 and 270. It's a great gun. Um, 
I've owned a Savage in 30 out six, uh, almost a similar gun. Outstanding gun, really a great choice. Um, I just think you have really got, in my opinion, I, I think you've got a tool for almost any job you can imagine where you would need a gun out in the woods. Um, you've done a great job on this selection. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's something that I enjoy doing and it's Absolutely. also very necessary on a homestead. Well, and on a, on a side note, uh, something that we have is whenever you're at work, you know, we, we spend a lot of time talking about <laughs> guns at work. So um, it's neat to see, uh, finally take a look at what you've got here. It's a it's great selection, in my opinion. This is, I, I couldn't, I personally can't think of anything else that you would need a gun for that you, you, did, you wouldn't be equipped with these five guns. Mm -hmm. um, and you do your own reloading, is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Excellent. And that really helps keep the cost of ammo down. Oh, I'm sure. So you can practice sure. more. Yeah. <laughs> As they say, you don't spend less on ammo. You just get to shoot more. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, very good. Very good. Well, Jeremiah, thank you so much for your time. It's wonderful being your friend. I love coming out here. You guys have done a great job. It's so beautiful out here and what a great selection. If you haven't already, I'm going to put the, the link to the Neal's Homestead below. Definitely click on them. They are the best homesteading channel out there. Um, you, they have so much knowledge and so much uh, expertise on how to start a homestead and really just how to be self-sufficient. It's, it's an outstanding channel. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. <music>